Hey guys, so it's finally here. Another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my puffy paws. Now, I'm making this video to show you how to make your own puffy paws in your own style. So during the carving phase, I won't be going into specifics or sharing patterns. This is for you to make your own style, not steal mine. So let's get started. So we will be making four fingered paws. So we are going to start by tracing around our hand onto some one inch to half inch foam. It doesn't particularly matter as we'll be carving this down later. Give yourself a bit of space out of each finger. Holding your middle finger and index finger together. Cut the shape out. Now you only need to make one of these. Now take a glove and glue the two fingers together, your, again your middle finger and your index finger. This will assist in making a pattern later on. Then glue the glove down where your hand was on the foam. I like to use the larger size available because then you can get a one size fits all deal on your paws. Once it is dried, begin to carve the base of it smooth. You want to have it seamlessly blend into the gloves. Add a bit of foam along the sides to round your fingers out. Then start adding a bit on the top of the fingers to give it a bit more puff. Of course you can shape it however you like and the method will still work for you. Once that's done, put your hand inside the glove and start to tape the whole thing. I work from the fingers and then tape the rest so I can take my hand out. You want to tape it the fingers still in there to make sure you have enough room for them. Once that's done, separate the tape into six sections. The palm piece, which can all come off in one piece. This will also be where we sew our paw pads. Uh, four fingers and the back of the hand. Label each finger piece so you know where it goes. I label mine thumb, pointer, two, and pinky. Also label the back of the hand piece where each finger will go. You can throw away the foam now or hold onto it to check where pieces go. Up to you. So now you have a pattern you can reuse for future paws. So, I'll be making some pink paws today, so I'll be using Pink Luxury Shag for these. The first should be going towards the tips of the fingers, so mark on your patterns accordingly as to which way the fur needs to go. Trace the fingers and palm pieces onto the fur, one on each side of the pattern. This will allow you to make a left and a right paw from the same pattern. Trace the back of the hand onto a different piece of fur as we will be keeping this fur long. Before you cut out the fingers and palm, take a set of clippers to the piece and shave down all the fur. I'm using a 10 blade for this. You can also use fur like beaver or short furs to avoid shaving on the fingers, but they don't come in pink, so I gotta shave it down. Once that's all shaved, cut out your pieces and now we can start sewing. Next, start sewing all of the darts on your fingers by using a straight stitch, then going over the edges with a zigzag or an overlocker machine for durability. Then start sewing the fingers to the back of the hand piece. Each finger you sew will have a little bit that sticks off the edge. This is normal and this is where you will start sewing your next finger. These edge bits will go in between your fingers. Keep sewing until you have all the fingers on and repeat with the other side. We're going to add our paw pads to our palm piece. So cut out of paper a palm and finger pads and cut two of the palms and eight of the fingers 
from the vinyl. Position on your palm piece. Now take some baking paper and pin one of your pads in place to the with the baking paper on top. This will help your sewing machine take the vinyl easier. I find mine doesn't like to sew vinyl so this helps a lot. Take a short straight stitch and go around the edges. If you want you can also applique the pull pads by taking a close zigzag stitch and working your way carefully around the edges. Repeat with the other pads. Now for the claws. You can skip this step if you don't want claws in your paws. Trace out the general shape of a claw onto some paper and trace it eight times on one side and eight times flipped over onto some vinyl. Cut with seam allowance and sew them on your sewing machine with a small straight stitch. Then turn them inside out. I use a pencil or pen to help me. Then cut small incisions in the centre of each finger and sew the claw into the hole. Now we will start sewing the pillow. This is what gives these paws their puffiness. Cut out two palm pieces out of Minky. And sew these to the piece with the fingers on it, soft side up. Whilst this is happening, let me answer a few of the questions that will inevitably bug me in the comments. Where do you get your fabric? Fabric.com. Do you have to sew? Yes. Can you give us your pattern? No. Stop being lazy. Could you make me some please? No. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the next step, sewing the two halves together. Once you've finished sewing the pillow into your paws, you want to take both fur sides and put them together and start sewing the palm piece onto the back of the hand.
I'm using a blanket stitch for all of this. Once that's done, Turn it inside out and start stuffing the back of the hand. This will make it puffy. I like to push some of the stuffing into the claws and stuff each finger first, then the back. Don't overstuff your paws as it'll make it hard to move your hands, just trial and error. Then take your blanket stitch and sew the minky to the back of the hand to seal it shut. Now for the wrists. Take some of your long fur and cut an even strip. Now take one of your paws and start sewing the strip onto the base of your paws. Remember to keep the fur sides together and the fur going towards the fingers. Once you've gone all the way around, cut along the fur as straight as you can and sew the two raw edges together and repeat with the other paw and remaining fabric. And you're done. Some adorable puffy paws to wear wherever you like. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, what tutorial do you guys think I should make next? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.